The port city of Wilmington is known for hosting large vessels that bring their goods in and out of our state. One ship, though, came up the Cape Fear River on October 2nd, 1961 and has stayed. We're celebrating our 50th anniversary year since coming to Wilmington and uh, the ship has been fully as established as a memorial, a tourist attraction, and a center for education. The BB-55 USS North Carolina battleship was one of the most decorated warships in the Pacific fight during the Second World War. After the war, the Navy did not have a need for the old girls, so they began looking for a taker. In the late 50s, the U.S. Navy decided they were going to excess the battleship North Carolina, so they came to the state. Uh, the governor appointed a commission. They looked at suitable locations and determined Wilmington was the best site for, for home porting the battleship North Carolina. Oh, yeah. Ooh, cool. Ever since docking at Wilmington, the 728-foot ship has played host to tourists. We have over 200,000 paid visitors who come to the ship, and then we have 50 to 75,000 who come here for special events. Uh, we also do education programs for Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, and uh, school systems throughout the state. My boyfriend's here visiting, and uh, he's actually about to be commissioned into the Navy, so I figured this is something he would appreciate. And then my nephews are here for the summer from Kansas City, Missouri, so I wanted to bring them to enjoy it. Tori Kincaid lives in Jacksonville. She and her family enjoy coming to the ship to explore the history of the Navy vessel, and Tori admits how fortunate she is to be able to have the ship so close. I think it's awesome because it gives them an idea as to what life in the military is, you know, and I mean, in our town there's five Marine Corps bases in our one town, but it's Marine Corps. This is all Navy stuff, and it's a completely different way of life. And like they pointed out, it's its own little city floating on the ocean. So I just think that it's really awesome that I can show them this kind of stuff because they never would have known. This floating city has multiple decks that are open to the public, including berths, the engine room, the wheelhouse, and more. This multi-level exploring creates a nice break from the summer sun. Getting a bunch of kids ready and then driving an hour here, and I wanted to get here before it got too hot because kids always complain when it gets too hot. And getting to see everything and actually getting to pick his brain about, because he's actually been on carriers and stuff like that, about how it really is. and. The fact that my whole family is military, my dad was Marine, my mom was Navy, so every year it used to be a tradition that our family would come up here. I'm from Jamaica. I was stationed at Fort Bragg, North Carolina for many years, and uh, I went down to Savannah where I met my beautiful wife and uh, brought her up to North Carolina. And we start, we're living in Fayetteville, North Carolina, so I, she never had a tour of the ship. So I said, let's bring her down here and uh, show her the great USS North Carolina. Trevor Swabby says when he strolls along the teak wood deck of the battleship with his wife, it's just like the first time he stepped on board many years ago. It's this continued upkeeping of the ship which keeps it looking fresh off the line that Swabby says he is proud of. North Carolina is historically military and uh, back up in uh, Fayetteville area is mostly uh, soldiers. Uh, sailors are mostly here in the Wilmington area on the coastline naturally. And you have Jacksonville. It's so many military bases in North Carolina. It's historically military. So it's great to have uh, this uh, battleship uh, representing North Carolina back in North Carolina in a place called Wilmington. It's the living history, the legacy. Uh, the systems and technology of the day uh, is, is no longer commonly used. So these uh, gentlemen in their 80s and 90s show up each year and they help explain to us how this equipment worked and, and how that impacted uh, as the mightiest sea weapon of World War II, how that translated into events during the Second World War. The battleship has many surviving crew who return yearly to remember the ship during its active service. But the service that the ship now serves is to the youth who come aboard to learn about the history. We work very hard to transition the battleship's legacy from the older generation to young families. And we have 30,000 plus school children come here every year. But it's very important for us to communicate the message and the mission of the battleship to the younger people because they're the stewards of tomorrow. And we've been working very hard to develop what we call STEM education science, technology, en engineering, and math programming for kids here in the re uh, local and regional schools uh, so that they can use the practical examples uh, here on the battleship. Most people don't know, we have the oldest computers in the state of North Carolina here on the battleship. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. The history is my thing, so getting to see how it is and 
hopefully one day getting to see how it's changed to another one. So, but it's fun to know that we have this kind of stuff here in town, you know, within a driving distance.